After two nights in our new to us 2016 Blackrock travel trailer, no amount of espresso with Irish cream could put a smile on our faces before 10 a.m. After our third RV trip, the expression on Cindy's face told me I had better fix this. In an attempt to make the bed more comfortable, the previous owner had thrown a slab of thick memory foam with a thin pillow top over top of the original mattress. Now, the stock mattress was a flimsy piece of foam, better suited to making life-size origami. Dog beds are better built and more comfortable, which was good news for me as that's where I would be sleeping if I couldn't solve this issue. Now, you may not be aware, but RV queen mattresses are not necessarily the same size as a residential queen. The typical residential queen size, which is 60 by 80 inches, and the RV short queen, which is 60 by 75. The beds are smaller so that the RV bedrooms can be smaller, while still claiming that they are spacious enough for a queen bed. The result is that you can't necessarily go to your favorite bedroom retailer, lie down on a couple of mattresses, and then bring one home. Ours is an RV short queen. Now, attempting to stave off sleeping in the same house as our bulldog Emmett, which is kind of like sleeping between a pair of sumo wrestlers with severe sleep apnea, I quickly began researching my options. I settled on goodmorning.com, a Canadian company founded in Edmonton, Alberta, that manufactures in several locations across Canada and are Canada's largest independent online mattress retailer. Now, while I'd heard the expression bed in a box mattress before, I'd never actually experienced one. As we were in the midst of the COVID pandemic, my traditional shopping options were limited and my time to find a solution was running out. Although somewhat nervous, I was comforted by the 120 night sleep trial, free shipping and returns, and the 15 year warranty. With a few clicks, I selected the Douglas in an RV Queen short size. This mattress is medium firm, it's 10 inches thick, and comes with a washable, breathable, moisture wicking cover a cooling gel foam layer, and then two different foam layers designed for spring, support, and to reduce motion transfer. We immediately received an order confirmation, followed by an email with a tracking order and a delivery date. From order date to delivery, it took 12 days. I was saved, if it was as comfortable as promised. When the box arrived, I became concerned. The dimensions of the box didn't align mentally with the size of the mattress I expected. Where was that massive package that can barely be manhandled upstairs and through doorways by two sleep apnea infected sumo wrestlers? I wisely left the mattress in the box until I had it in the RV. And then it was time to unbox, unroll, and test. All right. It's vacuum sealed inside the package. Oh, it's getting fluffy already. Yeah, it's getting pretty thick. And it's, it feels almost like a le regular mattress. It's not, it's not really hard like that other hunk of memory foam we had. And it's not so soft that you go through the, right to the wood like on that OEM one. This feels really cushy. So this is the Douglas. It's the style of mattress. And it has actually a nice quilted cover on the top and a little bit of a Rocky Mountain theme stitched into the embroidery. So, ooh. Oh yeah. That is like floating on a cloud. Yeah, it just contours to your body and you don't get down to the bottom wood like on the OEM mattress. Just need a pillow and a little bit of time off. The difference between Good Morning and the stock mattress is astounding. Just looking at the two, it's an insult to mattresses everywhere to call the stock product a mattress. Elated, we've begun the RV season successfully enjoying the sleep that everyone deserves. What's more, GoodMorning.com makes residential mattresses as well in a variety of styles and sizes. So when the day comes for a new mattress at our house, this Canadian manufacturer will definitely be on the list. Have you ever tried a bed in the box mattress? What's your experience? And in your RV, how good was the stock mattress from the manufacturer? Please let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, share it. Smash that like button and if you want to see more, please subscribe and ring that bell so you're the first to be notified when a new video comes out. Till next time, stay safe. We'll see you in the parks and on the trails.